friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Today I'm talking about cheating on WW and why I choose to cheat. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up and don't forget if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in that description box, you are going to find nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macros and calories. Highly recommend taking advantage of this service as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things as well as my Facebook group, we'd love to have you come join us over there, are also in the description box. So let's jump into cheating on WW and why. So before we jump into today's video, I do follow the WW program, like I said, and I am on the blue plan. As a reminder, I do count calories first and points second. It is very important to me to make sure that I am eating enough calories every day. And my overall goal is to eat as much as I can and still lose weight. So with that being said, there are certain foods on the WW program that I think are counted way too high, much higher than they should be based on the calories and the macro nutrient profile. So those particular foods, I choose to count my own way. I count them based on calories and macros and the points that I count for these foods works for me. This doesn't mean that you have to count these particular foods or any food the same way that I do. This is just what works for me and what I feel works best in my overall healthy lifestyle, a mix between being in a calorie deficit and following WW. There are quite a few foods that I cheat on, honestly. When I sat down and thought about putting together this video, I was surprised on how many things that I kind of count my own way when it comes to WW points. Number one is kombucha. You guys know that I drink a bottle of kombucha almost every single day. It has a ton of probiotic health benefits. It's really good for your gut bacteria. I love the taste of it and I just feel good when I'm regulating my good gut bacteria and kombucha absolutely does that for me. My favorite brand is GT's, but there are a lot of good kombucha brands out there. GT's is very kombucha E, if that's a word. It has that really strong vinegary taste that's reminiscent of kombucha. If you're just starting out on kombucha or you're not sure if that sounds appetizing, then there are a few other brands that I recommend that are a little bit more like sparkling fruit juice, but you still get the probiotic benefit. Some of those brands are Hum, Health Aid, and Kroger or Fred Meyer has a Simple Truth brand that's really good as well. Now, I like the real kombucha E, kombucha, so I generally gravitate towards Towards the GTs, but all of the kombuchas range in calories per bottle, 16 ounces, anywhere from 50 to 70 calories. And the great thing about kombucha is there is zero added sugar. The sugar that shows up on the ingredient label of kombucha is because of the fermentation process. It's a natural sugar, kind of similar to what you would find in fruits. There's no added sugar in kombucha. So when WW figures the points for a bottle of kombucha, they're figuring it at about three points per bottle based on the natural occurring sugar. Now, because again, it only ranges in calories from 50 to 70, I choose to count a bottle of kombucha as one point. I think that 50 or 60 calories with no added sugar is one point in my book. So kombucha to me is one point for a 16 ounce bottle. The second product that I cheat on is my coffee creamer. When I first transitioned over to a cleaner approach to WW, I was trying out a lot of cleaner coffee creamers, things like layered coffee creamer, which I enjoyed, but it just wasn't the same. I stopped buying the sugar-free or the fat-free creamer, and I was really focused on watching the ingredients. I quickly found that I wasn't enjoying my morning cup of coffee. And let's be honest, the only way that I'm going to have a good day is to start my day off on the right foot with a delicious cup of coffee. So I decided that my coffee creamer would play into my 80-20 rule. 80% 80 clean, whole, real food, and 20% foods that I love are foods that make me happy, including 
coffee creamer. So I decided to go back to regular sugary coffee creamer. I still choose not to purchase sugar-free. I just go with the regular coffee creamer. And no matter how much I put in my coffee, whether it be one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons, I choose to count it as one point. Most coffee creamer is only at 30 to 35 calories per tablespoon. So even if I'm putting in three tablespoons, it's really only about 100 calories and I choose to count it as one point. Now, in my calorie counting app, I will track the calories for how much coffee creamer I put in my coffee, and most days it's between two and three tablespoons. Another product I cheat on is sparkling water. There are a lot of sparkling waters on the market that have a little bit of calories. Spindrift, for example, is one of my favorites. It's a nice, clean sparkling water with no natural flavors, and the sparkling water is actually made with fruit juice. So all of the Spindrift has a few calories, ranging anywhere from five calories calories to 15 calories. I am not counting points for 10 or 15 calories, especially when there's no added sugar, there's no fat. It's simply a splash of real fruit to make the flavor of the sparkling water. So I choose to count any sparkling water with no added sugar in it as zero points. Next is ground beef. Now this may be controversial in the WW community, but like I said, I do what works for me, and this actually works for me when it comes to ground beef. As we know, the higher the fat percentage of ground beef, the lower the price. So ground beef that's 85.15 or 80.20 is a lot less expensive than ground beef that's 93.7 or 90.10. So I choose to buy the least expensive ground beef. And remember, I purchase grass-fed, grass-finished, so it can be a little bit more more expensive and when I cook my ground beef I just rinse it before adding it to my dish or before making whatever recipe I'm making using the ground beef that way I'm rinsing out all of the fat content and that to me makes that a extra lean cut of ground beef I count the points of any ground beef as the points of 96.4 when I rinse it before preparing my meal or before eating any cut of ground beef I figure if I'm rinsing out the fat I'm making it an extra lean cut of ground beef. So I'm going to count it for again that 96.4 amount of smart points. The next item I cheat on is granola. So my favorite little snack to get in a good amount of protein to also satisfy a sweet craving and a crunchy craving is Greek yogurt flavored or unflavored topped with a tablespoon or so of granola. You know my favorite granolas are Julian Bakery. I will link them down below with a discount for you as well as Purely Elizabeth. So when I make my little granola covered yogurt cup. I don't count the granola. It's a tablespoon or two tablespoons equaling less than 50 calories. I just choose not to count it. It gives me that added crunch. I do of course count the points for my yogurt, but the little bit of granola that I'm adding to the top of my yogurt, I count it as zero points. Next up are condiments. Now, not all condiments are created equal. Condiments that are higher in calories or fat, like mayonnaise, I still count those. But if I'm adding a little bit of no sugar added calories, ketchup to a meal, or I'm adding a few slices of sweet pickles that technically have points, or maybe a little bit of sweet relish to my summer barbecue hot dog, I'm not going to count points for those. It's very, very minimal in calories. It's not going to make a significant impact on my overall caloric intake for the day. And let's be honest, it's a tiny bit of a condiment, a teaspoon or two. I choose to count that as zero points. And the final way that I cheat on WW, and probably the one that I get the most flack for, as well as maybe even more controversial than the ground beef, the coffee creamer, or the kombucha, is the fact that I choose not to count blended fruit. Now I understand somewhat WW's philosophy on blended fruit. It's a lot easier to eat two, three, four, five pieces of fruit when it's blended up in a smoothie or a protein shake than it is to eat four or five pieces of whole fruit. Not to mention, you're breaking down the nutrient components of the fruit kind of. You're still getting all of the same nutrients, whether fruit is blended or not. So that's a little bit of a myth, but nonetheless, I understand WW's philosophy behind blended fruit. But for me, the amount of fruit that I put in a smoothie or a protein shake is the same amount of fruit that I would eat if I was eating it in its whole form. So for example, one of my very favorite protein shakes is a scoop of protein powder, some almond milk, half of a frozen banana, and about a quarter cup to a half of a cup of frozen berries. Blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. It doesn't really matter. Just a little bit of frozen berries. Now I can very easily eat half of a banana and a quarter cup 
third of a cup or half of a cup of berries in a sitting. So when I'm adding that to my smoothie or my protein shake or even my acai bowl, I don't count that as points. To me, it's still zero points. Now the caveat to that is if I'm adding a whole banana, a cup of strawberries, a cup of blueberries, a cup of peaches, and I'm making this huge delicious smoothie or acai bowl, that's where I would question whether or not that is still considered zero points. But for me and the amount of fruit that I put in a blended drink, it's zero points. So those are the foods on WW or Weight Watchers that I choose to cheat on. That's how I cheat the program. And like I said in the beginning, it works for me and you have to do what works for you. Maybe you choose to count blended fruit. Maybe you choose to count your coffee creamer. We all are different and we all have to work at the WW program the way that it works for us. And this is what works for me. And I find that it doesn't, like I said, make a significant impact on my overall calories points for the day. So let us know down in the comments if there are other WW foods that you don't count or maybe you cheat on a little bit and why. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that little subscribe button and click the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I upload five days a week or more so you don't want to miss out. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching as well as links and discounts to my favorite things. I will make sure Julian Bakery, that granola I love is linked down below with a discount for you and head on over and join us over on Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you again so, so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.